Hi everyone, good morning. I'm Elizabeth from Movement Climbing and Fitness Baker. Uh, and this is a 45 minute HIIT workout. So we'll give a few more minutes for people to trickle in. For this workout, you will need yourself, you will need a mat or a towel for core work. And today we'll use a sturdy chair. If you don't have a sturdy chair, um, a step would work or just your body weight is great too. So give yourselves a couple minutes. Water's a great thing to have nearby. And we'll get started in just a few minutes. Good morning if you're just joining. I'm Elizabeth, this is 45 minutes of HIT. For this workout, you'll need a mat or a towel if you don't happen to have a mat, and then a sturdy chair. If you don't have a sturdy chair, um, that's fine. A stair or a step would work, or just the ground. We have about a minute or two. So grab the stuff you need, and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, couple more seconds here and we'll start with some shoulder rolls. All right, make sure you have the equipment if you need it. Um, so mat or towel, chair or step. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get started. So really shoulders up, back and down, like you're opening your chest. Focus on the pull down of your shoulder blades too. Option to bring your elbows a little bit wider. Work into greater mobility in your shoulders. Couple more and we'll switch directions. All right, switch, pull your shoulders up, pull your shoulder blades apart. Two more like that, and then an easy twist with a punch. So extend your back leg long. Drive your fist, just nice and gentle. We're warming up your torso, your arms. Two more each side. All right, 20 squats. So send your butt back and down. Keep your knees stable. So the goal is that at the bottom of your squat, your knees, they don't wobble. If they do, squeeze your glutes, maybe decrease your range, don't go down quite as far. Five. Three. Two. And one, jump rope. Imaginary jump rope. So tiny, tiny hops. Tighten the circle with your arms. So land soft on the balls of your feet. And then tighten the circle with your arms a little bit more, find more engagement through your upper body. Jumping jacks in three, in two, one jumping jacks. So out, in. Yes. I'm keeping my arms low because there are lights above me. So it's not necessarily a suggested range. You just have five. Just three, two, one. Shake it out. All right, this is how it works. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We'll go through our first set of exercises twice. Second set twice, and then the whole thing all over again. All right, so let's get started option to put on some music, something that'll motivate you, pull you through. All right, first exercise, squat with a hip abductor. 
So you send your hips back and down, and then we'll start with our right leg. Lift, lift. All right, your 45 seconds starts in three, two, one, 45 seconds. So not only are you squeezing your outer glute to lift your leg up, but you're driving through your stationary leg. Yes, stick with it. Can you find the stability in your stationary leg? And then even more squeeze in your glute. Be careful that it's not a swing. It's a controlled raise. Less than 15 seconds. Your recovery's coming, friends. Just five. Just three, two, one, 15 seconds, hold here. So, walking side to side push-ups. You'll start in a plank, you'll walk out, drop down, walk to the center, push up, walk to the side, do it all over again. All right, 45 seconds, three, two, one, one minute. option here to drop to your knees but take the option with your lower body that lets you find the 90 degree bend in your elbows that's where you get the activation of your chest the goal as you walk side to side how stable can you keep your body how tight can you wrap in your core 15 seconds remaining not even Option to set these out. Do a couple, pause, do a couple more. How many more for three? Just two, one, shake it out. Awesome work, friends. Single leg hip bridge is next. So you can grab your mat. Again, we'll start with our right leg mobile, which means your left glute is working. So hip bridge of the leg extension. You'll drive through your left leg, lift your hips, extend your leg long, keeping your hips high. Bring your leg back up, drop your hips down. 45 seconds in three, in two, one. So press. So the goal here is the stability. Can you keep your hips square to your mat as your leg extends? Option, if that feels like a lot in your knee or your knees wobbling, to take the extension out single leg hip bridge, cross your ankle across your opposite knee. So can you keep your hips high as your leg extends? And use your core to keep them level to your mat or your towel. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. So try and note how high this is. We'll replicate it on the other side. Three, two, one, shake it out. Great work, everyone. Reverse crunches are next. So I see these a lot in a little different, a lot of times we see momentum in these. And so the challenge today is to decrease the motion, focus of the squeeze in of your low core. So small motion as you curl your hips up off the mat. Once you're there and you feel it in your low core, then you can increase the motion. Three, two, one, let's go. So curl in and out. So when you swing, it's way more momentum. So can you picture your hip tips, the top of your pelvis curling in towards your ribcage? Curl. Once you feel that, then you can start to increase the range. Maybe lift your hips up off your mat slightly. If this feels like it made it harder, then you know for next time that you want to decrease the motion focus on the engagement of your muscles. It's less about the shape, it's all about how much you're activating. Just three, just two, one, shake it out, great work. All right, one minute of cardio. We'll start with 30 seconds of push-ups and then switch to 30 seconds of squat jumps. So your push-ups, option, to be on your knees. The goal here is as many for that 30 seconds as you can. You have three, 
You have two. One, 30 seconds right here. Knees, toes, or maybe even tabletop. So squeeze your elbows together like you're pushing the ground away. 17 seconds, and you're up on your feet for squat jumps. One full minute of recovery is coming. Don't worry, you'll earn it here. Last five. To your feet in four. To your feet in three. Squat jumps in two. One, squat jump. So reach for the ground, reach for the ceiling. Yes. So reach for the floor, reach up. Land soft. Let your glutes catch you at the bottom. You've got it. Stick with it. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. How many more squat jumps do you want to get? Last five. Yes, yes, yes. Three, just two. Remember that recovery. One, amazing job, everyone. One minute here, shake it out. All right, so some of these exercises will be on a different leg. Otherwise, everything's exactly the same. So now you know it. Now we just execute it. All right, so keep breathing. Challenge here is to bring the air deeper into your lungs. Can you make your breath feel wider and longer? Great work, everyone. And breathe. You have about 20 seconds left in your recovery. So we'll move back into the squats with the hip abductor. This time, your left leg will raise. All right, five seconds remaining. Are we ready? Next set's coming. Three, two, one, let's go. So squat, lift. Yes, how much power can you get through your standing leg. Yes, and pull your core in, lift your chest. Great work, everyone. 20 seconds left. So can you move slower on the way down, more powerfully on the way up? Yes. Stick with me, last seven. Break's coming. Three. Two, last one here. Shake it out, great job. All right, on to the walking push-ups on the ground. So remember, your mat is nearby or towel for your knees if you'd like to do it that way. Otherwise, up on your toes. All right, three, two, one, walking push-ups, this is it. So, yes, push-ups are an upper body exercise, but the goal here is we're walking since this whole thing is full body. Can you keep your hips from rotating? Can you squeeze in your core so your hips stay stable, even as you walk and your center of gravity shifts? Friends, you have 15 seconds left. Can you push the earth away a little bit more? Squeeze your elbows together for three, two, one. Shake it out, flip over onto your mat or towel. This time, your left leg will be in the air, your right glute will be working. Remember the option to cross your leg over. All right, three, two, one. Single leg hip bridge of the leg extension. So notice if your right knee or your bent knee wobbles. Can you squeeze your glute to keep it super, super stable? And then notice if you're as high as you were the other side. Yes, just like that. We have 15 seconds of those left. And then you're using your core to keep your hips level to the ground. All right, you have three, just two, one, shake it out. 
All right, find your mat if you don't have it already. Reverse crunches are coming. So here, if you got the motion, you got that squeeze in your low core, the curl of your pelvis, then you can add a little bit of range. Three, two, one. So curl in and out. Notice if as your knees lower, if your low back peels up off the mat, that means that your core disengaged. So can you pull your belly button down towards your spine? Yes, just like that. 20 seconds left. So yes, often we want as many as possible, but quality over quantity. So can you slow it down? Can you find the muscle engagement? Take the momentum out. You'll get more out of it that way than swinging your legs back and forth. We have three, just two, one, shake it out. Get ready for push-ups. 30 seconds of push-ups, 30 seconds of jump squats. Yes. All right, three, two, one. Your 30 seconds of push up starts right now. Yes. So squeeze your elbows together. Push the earth away. You've got this. Halfway there, and then you're up on your feet for jump squats. Yes, get ready. Jump squats, six seconds. They're coming. Three, two, one, up on your feet, jump squats. Yes, so option to take the jump out. Your feet never have to leave the ground for it to be cardio. So if you took the jump out, awesome choice. Picture the jump in your mind. Picture so much power in your legs that you're leaving the ground. Yes, it's almost exactly the same muscle engagement. Just five seconds, friends. Mm -hmm. That minute long break is coming. Yes, three, two, one, amazing job, pause. Grab water, this minute is yours. Whew. Yes, it is not easy. You're doing an awesome job. All right, we have a whole new set of exercises but you don't even have to worry about that for the next 45 seconds. So grab some water, work to bring your heart rate back down. Yes, great work. So for this set of exercises, this is when you may want your chair. So you can go find that if you push it out of the way. You will still need a mat. So be ready for that transition. All right, 15 seconds left. So here, let's start to get motivated for our next set of work. So maybe you turn your music up. Maybe it's that conversation you have in your head. How much work am I gonna do? What works for me today? All right, squat with an oblique twist in three, in two, in one, 45 seconds. So you squat down, twist. Squat down, twist the other way. So your elbow twists, not your leg. Your leg doesn't come across. It's your elbow to your knee. So just like before, can you picture slower on the way down, more power on the way up? Yes. And then squeeze your elbow towards your knee, not your knee towards your elbow. 10 seconds. Yes. Last three, two, one. Shake it out. 15 seconds. You'll need your chair. Step ups, starting on the right leg again. So step up onto the chair and then step down, both feet together. Option, add a knee. All right, we have three, two, one, one minute. So, same motion if you're on a chair as if you're on a step. If you're on the stairs, step up, knee. Or if you're on the ground, 
maybe turn it into a lunge. Yes. So right leg is moving. Just the right leg will hit the left side on the second time through. So power on the way up, control on the way down. A lot of times at the end of the motion, we let gravity take over. So be aware of how much noise your bottom foot makes. Does it slam the ground? Three, just two, one, 15 seconds. Keep your chair. We have body weight dips. So you can do these on the ground as an option. And I'll show you that after we start. We have three. We have two, one, body weight dip. So bring your hands to your chair. Lift your chest and then drop down, press up. Point your elbows straight towards the back of the room. If you feel that in the front of your shoulders, A, lift your chest, pull your shoulder blades down. But option to do it from the ground, you'll just recline back, same position in your shoulders, back and up. Yes, like drive the heels of your hands into the earth. Yes. 15 seconds remaining. A lot of times as we fatigue, that's when your chest collapses and your elbows come up towards your ears. Can you lift your chest? Drive the heels of your hands into your chair. Three, or mat, two, one. Awesome job, 15 seconds here. Ditch your chair and come down to your mat. long arm crunches. So bring your arms long along your ears. You crunch up and down. Try and lead from the center of your chest. Three, two, one, 45 seconds. Option for a regular crunch. If that doesn't feel nice in your shoulders, goal here is to squeeze your hips and your rib cage together. And then additional option is to float your legs, to add a little low core engagement. Friends, 20 seconds remaining. So lift from the center of your chest. Can you keep your shoulders pulled down? Yes, you've got it just three just two, one, shake it out. All right, fun times ahead for our cardio segment. Football runs to a burpee. So, if you have not heard my philosophy on burpees, burpees are accessible for everyone. So you can always, if you're not jumping, you can always step back, step in, reach for the sky. All right, we have three, two, one, we start, 30 seconds, football runs, right here. Yes, jump right in, so your hips go back and down. Tiny, tiny taps of your feet. And then option to swing your arms back and forth, option to go side to side, but you have 30 seconds. Can you get even lighter on your toes? Yes, and then make sure your chest is lifted, your core is engaged, last five. Your version of burpees is happening in three, in two, in one, your version of burpees, 30 seconds. Yes. So, think about how many you want to do. Yes. Maybe you do one burpee every five seconds, that's seven. That's great. Maybe you did one burpee in 30 seconds, that's awesome too. All right, you just have five. What else do you want to do in the last three? Stick with me, stick with me, two. One, shake it out, awesome job. Take a breath, grab some water, you earned it. We have that set one more time. Yes, great job. I forgot to mention, but if you have questions, comments, um, throw them in the comments. So if you have questions about an exercise, I'll try and answer it on the second time through. This is helpful to someone who may stream it later who's not here right now they may have that question too. All right. A little over 30 seconds remaining. So back to the squat with the oblique twist. 
we have the step ups. So you'll need your chair again, the dips, the long arm crunches, and then our favorite, the burpees. All right, about 10 seconds and we're on to the squat with an oblique twist. All right, you have three. Let's get it, two, one, squat with an oblique twist. So be aware of the knee of your stationary leg. Be careful that it doesn't twist, that it stays really strong and stable as your torso, your shoulders twist. Yes. So good. Yes. So if you find your knee rotating, then don't twist your shoulders as far. Focus on the stability in your leg. Five seconds left. Yes. Three, two, one. 15 seconds here and grab your chair. Step ups this time on the left. All right. So add the knee if you did on the other side. Three, two, one. This time your left leg goes up. So again, check the volume of your landing leg. If it's loud, can you find more control with the leg on the bench, bench or chair or stair? and drive through your heel. You've got it. 10 seconds left. Find the full reset at the bottom and then drive your heel into the chair. Last three, two, one. Take a seat, breather, onto this. So remember, really important to engage your shoulders, pull them down. Once your chest starts to collapse, then you can drop to your mat for the mat option. Three, two, one, 45 seconds. So lift your chest. And then notice if your butt moved away, can you bring it back like it's grazing along the seat of your chair? On the mat. Same thing. Focus on the drive in the heels of your hands. Yes. So yes, you're working your triceps, but you're also working your shoulder stabilizers. You're pulling your shoulders down, lifting your chest up. All right, seven seconds. How many more dips do you want? Last three. Last two, one. All right, ditch your chair onto the mat or towel. Long arm crunch in three, two, one. Long arm crunch, crunch up. Option to tabletop your knees or to extend your feet long. This is your call. But the minute your low back starts to extend up off your mat, then take it down a notch and pull your belly button down towards the mat. You've got it. 20 seconds are up. Yes, heart rates are up. Awesome job. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. We're up on our feet. We are not actually. Yes, we are. Football runs. All right, but you just had three, just two here. One, shake it out. All right, get yourself set up. One minute of cardio. Football runs to your version of burpees. If you, despite the options for whatever reason, injury, mobility, whatever, you don't wanna do a burpee, that's great. Choose a different cardio option. So you can take the jump rope again, high knees, lots of options. Three, two, one, football runs. Yes. 
So football runs are one of my favorite lower impact cardio exercises. Tons of load in your legs here. Can you make it even lighter on your feet? So you move over, side to side maybe, forward, backwards, yes. Can you send your butt down even more? Yes, tiny, tiny taps. You have five. Burpees or your version in three, two, one. Your version of burpees. Yes. So, as I mentioned, high knees, great thing if you're not run, wanting the burpees. 15 seconds, friends, halfway through your burpees. Yes. So, how many more do you want? Play that game with yourself. You have five seconds to get it. Three. Recovery's coming. Two. One. Great work, everyone. Shake it out. Grab some water. Yes. Awesome job. So, we'll do this all, all over again, one time through. Every one of these exercises, you'll see one more time. You've got it. So, here, start to breathe a little more deeply. Yes. So the goal here, we spiked your heart rate with the cardio, we bring it back down to a little closer to where we started. Not all the way, but closer. All right. Squat with the hip abductors coming. This time we'll alternate legs. You have two seconds to go. Remember, questions, throw them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them as best I can. Three, two, one. Squat with a hip abductor. So now, other leg. Yes. Be careful that it didn't start to swing. It's a controlled raise. And think about keeping the knife edge of your foot, the outside, facing the sky or the ceiling. All right, 15 seconds left. Pull your core in. Three, just two. One, shake it out, walk out push-ups are up. So grab your mat if you'd like it for your knees. So, like I said the first time through, take the option with your lower body that lets you get full depth in your upper body. Three, two, one. One minute walking push-ups. So option to walk your feet out a little bit. That'll keep your core a little more stable. If you want a little more of a challenge, walk them in and try and keep your hips from rotating side to side. Just like that. Yes. So notice if your hips start to sag, can you pull your core in? to return to a more neutral plank position. Just five seconds of those. You never see this exercise again. Three, two, one, you're done with it. Awesome job. So, on to a single leg hip bridge. This one, we will take the extension out, so we'll walk with it. One single leg, and then switch to the other side. All right, three, two, one, so up, down, up, down, yes. So it's just as much about the press up as it is about the control down. So notice if, as you come down, does one hip sag? Can you use your glute to keep your hips level, even on the way down? 15 seconds left. Walk it out, yes. <laughs> so good. Keep your knees stable, you've got it. Last three, two, 
one on two reverse crunches. So here's your 15 second recovery. Stack your knees over your hips. All right. Reverse crunch in three, in two, one. So curl in. So notice your low back. Make sure that your belly button is pushing down or squeezed in, I should say, towards your spine. Just like that, yes. So it starts from the curl in of your low core. If you start to get a swing in there, Try and slow it down, make it smaller. Three, just two, one, all right. Cardio is coming, one minute. Push-ups and then squat jumps. All right, last three, last two, one. 30 seconds of push-ups, you've got this. Push-ups are one of the best full body exercises we have. But if it's not for you, come up to your feet, scissor your arms together, kick your opposite heel forward. Yes. Friends, those squat jumps are coming. We have five seconds till we're there. So finish last few push-ups on your feet in three. Last two, one, squat jumps, 30 seconds. How softly can you land? Yes, can you make it even more quiet? Like you don't want to wait, wake your brother, your sister, significant other in the other room. Yes. All right, less than 10. Last three, just two. So good, so good. One, shake it out. Great work, everyone. All right, everything in that set, we're done with it. In this set, you'll need your chair again. But first, squat with an oblique twist. One minute of recovery is much earned after that set. So grab some water. All right, 30 seconds remaining. So we have five exercises in this, this set. That means with 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, you have five minutes between here and the end of the work. So what do you wanna do in the next five minutes? Five minutes is so short, yes. All right, so five seconds, let's go. Squat with an oblique twist, three, Two, one. Remember the stability of your stationary leg. If you're twisting through your leg, take some of the twist out. Focus on the stability of your grounded leg. You've got this. Yes. So 45 seconds can be broken into pieces. Maybe you do five, breathe, five, breathe. Yes. It is not about constant movement, it is about constant effort. So whatever lets you work hard for the full 45 seconds. Yes. So you finish and you start in the same way. Last five, three, two, one, shake it out. Great work, everyone. 15 seconds here. Grab your chair. This time, we'll alternate which leg steps up. So full all the way to the bottom and then switch legs. That's confusing. Sometimes when your heart rate's high, your brain doesn't want to work right. So maybe do two or three on one side, 
then switch. All right, three, two, one. Yes, as your legs fatigue, the foot hitting the ground first is gonna become louder. Can you fight that? Stay quiet. Yes. Friends, 15 seconds. So good. Stick with it. Drive through your heel even more to engage your glute for just three, just two, one. Great work, everyone. Take a seat. Breathe. Dips are coming. Remember, you can swap for your mat. All right, last three. Home stretch, friends. Two, one. Yes, great work. So, picture pulling your shoulders down even more. Yes. Did your butt drift away from your chair? Can you pull it back? And then, if you want the different option, just take a quick transition to your mat, keep going. All right, 10 seconds remaining. And you are done with the dips. Never have to see them again in three, just two, one. Shake it out, ditch your chair. And find your way down to your mat. Long arm sit-ups, crunches. I should say, are coming. All right, we have three, two, one, 45 seconds. So toes down or tabletop. So it can be tempting the lead from your forehead, but can you instead start the crunch from the center of your chest? So when you lead with your forehead, you're really only getting the top. So lead with the center of your chest, try and peel your shoulders up as much as you can. Picture squeezing your rib cage and your hips together like an accordion. 10 seconds remaining. Yes. Can you get your shoulders a little higher for five, for three, two, one. Amazing work, everyone. All right, ditch your mat. So, football runs into a burpee. If the burpees weren't for you, remember high knees are a great option. Jumping jacks, jump rope. All right, back to the squat jumps if you liked those better. Three, two, one, football runs. Yes. Can you get even lighter? I know, yes. By now, you should feel the burn in your quads. That's good, that's what we came here for. And you only have 15 more seconds here. So can you get even lighter? Can your feet move even faster? Tiny, tiny taps. Yes, you have five seconds and we are on to burpees. Yes, you release, you're building, you're winding up and then you release into the burpees. Three, two, one, on to burpees. So you can always maybe take one or two reps, step in, step back, reach for the ceiling, and then add the jump back in. Whatever lets you finish the 30 seconds with the same intention, same work as you started with. Cause there's just three more seconds, friends. Just two, one, awesome job. And breathe, grab some water. Quick cool down and you are set to go. So take a couple breaths and then take a quad stretch. So kick your heel towards your glute. Pull your knees in together, lift your chest. Arm out for balance if your leg's feeling a little wobbly. All right, 
Then kick that leg forward, cross it over, and send your hips back and down for a glute stretch. Flex your front foot to protect your knee. And breathe. All right, slowly rise. Kick your other heel towards your glute. Once again, pull your knees in together. Amazing work. It's so much fun to come out here in the sunshine and work out with you all. Cross your foot over, send your hips back and down. Flex your front foot. Just breathe into this stretch. All right, slowly rise and release your hands in front of your chest, peel your shoulder blades apart. Maybe swim side to side to unlock your lats a little bit. And then bring your arms up, back and around, peel your shoulder blades apart, lower your shoulders, lift your chest. Amazing, amazing work, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. It's such a pleasure to be able to show up for you in our movement green. And I hope to see you next time. Awesome job.